to be or not to be? That is the question. Have you ever considered ending your life? Just like in Shakespeare's Hamlet play, those who are living in despair are attracted to death, which they can choose either by committing conscious suicide or by not taking the necessary efforts to keep themselves alive. Either they have the courage to end it or they end up dead anyways due to neglect, carelessness, indifference, or accident. To be or not to be. I was asking myself at one point, and it was awful. I was feeling lost and hopeless. I was feeling really disappointed in myself for my recent failures, for making poor choices, and because I wrecked my health and I impacted negatively the people around me, my friends, my family. I just couldn't forgive myself. And obviously, that didn't happen. I didn't end my life. Thankfully, I'm here speaking to you. And I think a lot of that has to do with source. But even with all that help, here's the crazy thing. For a long time, I held on to shame. I thought I was supposed to feel like this. I, I thought that was what I was supposed to do. And I didn't know why, but I remember how unworthy that would make me feel. And it wasn't until I realized what shame was doing to me that this changed. And so that's what I want to share with you in this video, my friend, because I know that we're living very difficult times right now. And I know what a, what of a hell it can be to be living in shame. So I want you to know you're not alone and you can free yourself from it. Carl Jung said, shame is a soul-eating emotion. Freud determined that shame produces neurosis. But there are other things that cause us to live in shame. For example, early life experiences such as neglect, physical, emotional, or sexual abuse lead to shame and warp the personality for a lifetime, unless, of course, these issues are later resolved. Living in shame is destructive to emotional and psychological health. And as a consequence of low self-esteem, it also makes us prone to develop physical illness. Now, it's easy to recognize someone who's being afflicted by shame consciousness. We can observe their personalities. They're shy, withdrawn, introverted, and self-deprecating. There are certain conditions in which death can be attractive. It's common that suicide is an act of despair and desperation, a consequence of losing faith or hope. I know by experience that at the bottom of despair, we are exhausting all our energy and will to survive. So my friend, if you are feeling ashamed about yourself and you're tired of feeling unworthy, it's time that you know that you have a choice. You can choose to set yourself free. And the way to do that is by taking full responsibility of your well-being by choosing to let go of shame. No, you don't need to hold on to shame. It's not doing anybody a favor. No one's life's getting better because you feel shame. You don't need it, so clear it. Anything that you did or you were involved in is in the past and it doesn't prove anything that there's anything wrong with you that you're unworthy or unlovable you are worthy and deserving of all the best things that this world has to offer clear the shame that's getting in the way nobody needs you to feel shame even if they think they do it's not going to do anybody a favor so set yourself free choose to love yourself on all levels, mind, body, and spirit. And hey, if you think you can't handle it all by yourself, ask for help, but please don't give up.